things. And so that, you know, that just might be a, a metaphor or an image that he wants to use, and it might not be taken literally on your account, but it's there in the text in any yeah. case. So that's, do you want to answer that first? Or, yeah, yeah. Well, whatever you like. Would you like to, Doesn't can I answer matter. that first? Sure. Go ahead. Uh, I, I actually agree completely with that, uh, and uh, that is why I found uh, this um, concept of metaphysical evil so slippery, because at the beginning uh, I thought that here I have a nice story. And the story is uh, my heuristic hypothesis was uh, what uh, I am going to say is that uh, uh, Leibniz, in fact, uh, looks back at neoplatonism, at the green chain of being. So Leibniz is really not presenting uh, um, what uh, Augustine and Aquinas were presenting, is looking back uh, at that. Um, so that was my initial uh, taking uh, on this. However, um, Looking at the test, there is uh, undoubtedly uh, the great chain of being, uh, the, these um, degrees of perfection uh, that is uh, everywhere. Um, we are finite, God is infinite, uh, and so on. But uh, um, it seems to me that there is a sort of uh, asymmetry between uh, metaphysical goodness and metaphysical evil. That is to say that uh, not uh, necessarily there is this... Uh, um, Neoplatonic, uh, if you like, uh, um, mirroring of uh, uh, the, uh, as you lose uh, perfection, you gain uh, in uh, badness, as it were, or, or uh, this uh, negativity, this uh, um, metaphysical evil. So I think uh, this is uh, what makes the difference. And uh, this is exactly where I think uh, the distinction between uh, negatio e privatio in uh, the scholastics was going at, because it's clear that also Augustine is uh, a neoplatonic thinker in many respects. But uh, there are certain points, uh, crucial points, I think, in which uh, he turns away from neoplatonism. And I think uh, this is one of those. And, uh, and therefore, it seems to me there is this uh, asymmetry between, uh, yes, there, is, there are degrees of goodness, uh, but uh, do this degree of goodness uh, translate into degrees uh, of uh, evilness? I think, uh, I think uh, not, uh, or at least I didn't find uh, textual uh, evidence in Leibniz, uh, despite my first uh, inclination to think uh, this is going to be the story, that he thinks that uh, they translate into degrees of uh, evilness, because after all, uh, um, that would have been, that, that is what King does. It is very clear in Kings. And uh, this is also the story that, um, for instance, uh, John Hick uh, tells uh, in the God and the in, uh, Evil, and, and uh, now I don't remember, but his, his book on evil uh, um, is the story that uh, he, he tells. He tells uh, the story of the Augustine Atomistic uh, Theodicy. And he sees uh, this uh, seamless uh, tradition uh, from Neoplatonism uh, to Augustine uh, to Thomas uh, to uh, King uh, to Leibniz. Uh, however, um, I think uh, that uh, um, at least uh, Augustine or Aquinas uh, uh, scholars uh, should object uh, that this is not a fair uh, appraisal of the Augustine to mystic theodicy because they have very clearly this uh, distinction between uh, privatio and, and negatio. Yeah. Well, that's certainly true, and, and, and I wouldn't want to press that point as actually being critical to La crucial to Lama's position, but it seems to me, I, I, maybe I'm just not completely understanding the positive suggestion mm. about original imperfection as arising in Kratio ex nihilo, because the account Limitz gives, uh, in, say, in Theodicy 380, right, 380, and he, where he appeals to this idea of the laden boat and the mm. natural inertia, right? And what he says there, he says the, there's soundness in this observation, I've used it, that image of the laden boat, uh, I've used it to advantage in this work in order to have a comparison such as should illustrate how the original imperfection of the creatures sets bounds to the action of the creator, which tends toward good. Mm -hmm. And then he goes on to explain how this original imperfection can't be thought of as literally as matter because any matter would be created. But then he goes on to say, I've already shown that this source lies in the forms or ideas of the possibles for it must be eternal and matter is not so. Now, since God made all positive reality that is not eternal, he would have made the source of evil if it did not rather lie in the possibility of things or forms. Mm -hmm. 
So the source of evil lies in, in, in the forms, the eternal forms of things as understood, as represented in the divine understanding. So I'm not quite sure then how that original imperfection could be attributed to the fact of the creation ex nihilo. Or that's at least what I heard you saying. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's uh, um, a good point. Uh, um, I think uh, what I was uh, getting uh, mostly at uh, is uh, um, when he says that uh, there, is, uh, there are these um, natures which set a boundary to what God uh, can, uh, can uh, create, uh, which is uh, the nature itself of uh, um, the creatures. I, I took that to mean, but maybe there is a third meaning of, the, of metaphysical evil. Uh, I took that to mean uh, that uh, um, precisely in uh, being uh, a creature, creatures are finite, are limited, uh, and, uh, and that is uh, a, um, a consequence, if you like. Uh, it's not a consequence, but this is part of the doctrine of creatio, creatio ex nihilo as well, uh, in the sense that uh, um, if uh, creatures were not created ex nihilo, then they would be manifestations uh, of God nature, and if that was the case, uh, then they would not be finite beings. Uh, they would be just uh, as uh, infinite uh, beings as God is, uh, just as manifestation of his nature, and therefore we would be in a sort of spinozistic uh, um, picture. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 No. Thank you. Thank you for that. Could be that uh, there is even uh, more uh, uh, meanings uh, to this uh, metaphysical evil. Yeah. Okay. Um, th thank you, Maria Rosa, for your for your paper. Uh, I find it very convincing. I just uh, wanted to have your opinion about two two ideas I have first. Uh, I think Leibniz creates the phrase uh, metaphysical evil in relation to its opposite, which is metaphys metaphysical good. Uh, this, expression, this, this word, um, metaphysical good, you find it in a, in a text uh, uh, Leibniz writes when he read uh, uh, a book of uh, John uh, Johann Christoph Sturm about Theosophia. And he said there is, uh, he criticized the definition, definition two, uh, his definition of perfection, the definition of perfection of, of Sturm. We, and Sturm said, uh, perfection is good. And, and Leibniz writes, he, uh, he, he writes, uh, that is not a good definition. You have to distinguish uh, the moral sense of good and the metaphysical sense. And I think it's the first time you have the connection between good evil and metaphysics. And you have it in a text that is published in Gruya, and it is a text dating around uh, 16, uh, 1690s, around that. Six, that, that yeah. Does he uh, talk uh, about metaphysical evil there? Yeah, uh, well, you have only the phrase uh, metaphysical good. Yeah. yeah and it's, yeah. I think it's uh, in relation to that, uh, that uh, line is created. No, I agree uh, with that, that it course. is created as a yeah. pendant to metaphysical good. Exactly. Yeah. That's the, f the first thing. I uh, just want to have your, your opinion on that. And this, uh, the second one, about the question you, you raised, uh, why this phrase, uh, metaphysical uh, evil rather than uh, natural evil? That's a, a big question. I think, well, I have the, this idea, I want to suggest, that Leibniz wants, by the creation of this uh, phrase, to challenge the, the interpretation of evil as non-being, to replace it uh, by giving a ontological status of evil, to inscribe evil in being. I think it's very important for, for him, the term of metaphysical. That's according to me, uh, the reason why, uh, against Bourguet, he maintains the expression metaphysical evil. I think because he, he thinks it's, it's better 
than the, the interpretation of evil as non-being. Because since uh, 